Hello, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to meet you. You look absolutely fabulous. Um, so tell us, what can we expect from Chevalier, and in particular your character of Nanon? Mm, you can expect in Chevalier, particularly my character in Anon, someone that is very, very resilient. I'd probably say almost hard-headed. She doesn't like taking no for an answer, but she is loving and nurturing and caring. She sees that he's going through some stuff and she's trying to like help him through, guide him through in the best way possible, you know? But sometimes he's like, I don't want that. He doesn't want that. So she's got to find a new way to like love on him. I feel like she's very good at discovering new ways to love on him. That's one thing we'll see in the movie, <laughs> for sure. And, you know, seeing Calvin's absolutely mind-blowing performance, it's just sort of the commitment that he brought to the role, um, whether that was bringing out all the emotional nuances, but also the sort of practical challenges, you know, playing the violin. What was it like working alongside him? And I guess creating that, that trust on set to really develop your relationship together as well. Yeah, I mean, Calvin, I just love him so much. I think he's the most incredible actor that I've ever worked with. He's open, he's playful, he's generous, but also, like, he was, like, staying away from me at the beginning of filming. And I was like, what's wrong with this guy? Like, why don't you want to hang out? I cook a lot. So I made a roast, and I was like, come and eat a roast, and he didn't come. And then eventually he was like, oh, I only did it because you know the story is those two are far away i was like yeah i felt it <laughs> but it was amazing it was such a beautiful gig such an amazing time and it was such a pleasure just working with everyone our crew our director steven untouchable and of course it's a period drama but it feels so sort of fresh and contemporary and already hitting on so many themes that are relevant today whether it's about race identity finding yourself self-love um so what do you think some of the themes are and why how can people relate to it. Oh, I think everyone can relate to that, you know, feeling not good enough. The imposter syndrome. <laughs> One thing that actually uh, Joseph does have is he knows he's amazing, but a lot of people don't celebrate him. They don't give him that kind of love, that appreciation. So it starts to work on him and make him sad and heavy. And, you know, I feel like a lot happens to him in a short amount of time. And he really does, tries to roll with the punches until one big punch comes and he's, he almost yeah, I'm taken out, you know, but I feel like everyone can relate to that, nervous, pulling ourselves so up from rock bottom, um, you know, becoming brand new again, or hopefully. And that's one thing that this film does, it's so inspirational to be able to tell us to, come on, let's get it. <laughs> and of course, going back in history and telling these stories that have been written out of the history books, and you think, well, this is just one story, how many more are there out there? Yeah, right, there must be so many and I feel like yeah, I actually, you know we've been robbed I <laughs> so I feel like we need to make sure that we find and read the books and go to the libraries I mean how many more libraries are even around type thing but anyway I feel like it's an important story so I feel like I'm glad it's happening now fantastic thanks so much for your time really enjoy the evening thank you